ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ language of village if you speak it to someone else then they won't understand the local language is different right so we all speak bangla bangla so everyone in the bangla locality have their own special type of accent every language is slightly different the bangla that is spoken spoken here is kathala katha bangla nobody can understand this language easily for this regard sanskrit language is very hard mother utra she said to parikshit look you listen shrimad bhagavatam from the mouth of subhadra goswami and you listen to from him but i cannot understand everything properly you can you can understand it a little but not properly because in the language that you don't know the language it's very hard to understand how many know sanskrit here how many know sanskrit language no one the people who little little we studied in the school but we have forgotten now we forgotten right sanskrit in sanskrit language is known as the language of shrimad bhagavatam it is very hard to understand this language this is known as the language of devtas the language of demigods देव नागरी देव भाषा this prakar shrimad bhagavatam it is written in sanskrit language this language is known as samadhi language samadhi language samadhi means so that uh, stabilizes our mind to focus completely on god it's known as samadhi 
how possible to to which makes our heart and mind one pointed to god that conscious that level of consciousness and then we realize it that is known as samadhi is the camera okay now so this is known as samadhi the means knowledge uh, the brain mind mind and heart like it stabilizes our mind and heart it does not go here and there it fix when he wrote bhagavatam before making bhagavatam he got he went into samadhi he completely surrendered his mind and heart to the lotus feet of govinda and by the mercy of god he took all the leelas of krishna appeared in his heart for this word bhagavat is known as message in group oh. by the mercy of narad rishi the vyas dev got absorbed in samadhi when he got absorbed in samadhi what did he see he saw the supreme personality of godhead krishna he took his darshan in samadhi stage what does god do he directly gives darshan have you done darshan of god no not now but slowly and slowly as you proceed in the path of bhajan then the time comes then we take darshan of god directly for this regard it is said supreme personality of god hai krishna you take the his darshan what you take darshan you took darshan of god you take darshan of krishna and all the eternal associates of krishna you also take darshan of them also who are eternal associates of krishna nand maharaj yashoda subal shri dam and radha the gopis radha ram so all the eternal associates of krishna to take them darshan they they darshan and what else do you see you also see the mood of krishna that how he is taking birth like a human from the mother's womb like like we all come out from the mother's womb right exactly like that krishna supreme personality of godhead with the help of yog maya he he took a birth from mother's womb so there is the umbilical cord a uh, thing that's connected from the mother's womb to the stomach of the child that's there it's connected with mother's womb so when the child comes out we have to cut that uh, thing that's connected umbilical cord we have to cut that thing you all know that right so this is the moon what krishna take birth with the, this happened all with the help of yog maya god has two types of leela one is aishwarya leela second one is madhurya leela aishwarya leela there is nothing like cutting of umbilical cord and krishna is not taking birth like a human it is just like appearing like nursing them from where did he appear he appeared appeared from a pillar hiranya kashipu he asked prahlad my enemy vishnu you are taking his name again and again hiranya kashipu said where is this vishnu 
Then Prahlad Maharaj said, Vishnu is everywhere. Vishnu means this way, there is no place where God does not exist. God exists everywhere. Everywhere it's God. Said, you should have a desire to see. And in your heart, you have the mood of ignorance, tamagun, anger, lust in your heart. That's why you cannot take the darshan. In our heart, if we had tamagun and rajagun, when we have satagun, this goes away. Only then we can accept being a servant of Krishna. Then we can become a servant of Krishna. And by serving Krishna, solely and solely by serving the devotee of Krishna, by the mercy of God, by the mercy of Yogamaya, we take darshan of Krishna. Prasad Maharaj said, One whose heart is soft, only then you can take darshan of God. We, so, when a little child has taken birth, so what do you put on the eyes of that little child? We put kajal, which is like a black thing. It, it, key, it protects the eyes and it uh, increases the eyesight power of the child. The more and more these eyes are soft, so this is the example. So when the heart is soft, then you can take darshan. Ralamar said, I can take darshan of God everywhere. But Father, you cannot take his darshan. The reason is, you are absorbed in a tamakogun. For this reward, you cannot take darshan. Then Hiranagashipu got angry. And he said, Okay, in this pillar, your Vishnu, my enemy, your, your friend and my enemy, Vishnu, does he exist in this pillar? Prahlad Maharaj said, Yes, Father, he is everywhere, in every particle. He is everywhere. Then Hiranagashipu, he picked up his mace weapon and he attacked that pillar. And this pillar, <coughs> it broke down. And then what, what happened? Nursing Dev appeared. Ki jai! You all know this katha, right? Then Hiranagashipu and Nursing Adev, they started fighting with each other. This Katha is explained. <coughs> For this regard, it is explained. When Nursing Dev appeared from the pillar, this example is known as Avir Bhav, appearance. God appears. This is known as Avir Bhav. When he takes birth properly, like a new child, one baby child from a mother's womb, that is Nari, we have to cut the umbilical cord. Then there are many opinions also. So they, they have a second. Celebration of like 15 days, 1 month, 21 days, 15 days, 1 month. The mother is very conscious after the birth of the child. So that's what they keep are very conscious and they follow like she goes to temple daily. She also takes her child to the temple and take darshan of God. There are so many rituals when the new baby is born in Indian culture. 
So some people follow it 15 days, 21 days, one month. So I'm saying this because one leel of Krishna, Nadi Chedan, which means cutting the cord that's connected with him. And then they also give so much donations to all Brahmans. Nanda Maharaj, he, he did so many donations and he followed, celebrated Krishna's birthday. He donated rice, he donated clothes, and he donated many things. This is known as. For this regard, one is Ashwarya Leela and one is Madhurya Leela. So like a little human-like child, Krishna is doing Leela. What, what does God do? How is God doing this Leela? By the help of Yoga Maya. With the help of Yoga Maya. So we do two things by this. He's the creation, management and destruction. In this form, he's giving up these responsibilities. He's giving mercy to the devotees of God. And uh, bad people, demons, he kills them. Vanchana means to abandon. Abandon. Abandon them. Bad people, he abandons them. And the sinners, they don't think he is God. He, just like us, he took birth from mother's womb and he is walking around. He is covered with us like lust, anger, so many things. Little Bal Gopal Krishna. Buttermilk. That milk, when, when you churn the curd, what does he doing? He's dancing for it. This is known as being greedy. So God is greedy for it. And his saliva is coming out from his mouth after seeing this. So by this Leela, he is giving Ananda to his uh, eternal associates. Krishna, this Namoda Rakshtak, Satyavrata Muni, he did Kirtan of this Leela. In this mood, Krishna, in Braj, in the house of Brajwasis, Krishna is doing many types of Leela. And what is he doing with everyone? He is giving everyone ananda. Everyone is being approached in ananda. So for this regard, this, sent, uh, this is said. What is Satyavratamani saying here? So, the people on the path of Ashura, they get surprised. They are thinking that Krishna is Supreme Personality of Godhead and God is stealing. What is he stealing from the house of Brajwasi is Makhan, God, Buttermilk, he is stealing this. 
that Narayan, Narayan steals from anybody? Ramchandra steal? No. But Krishna, Supreme Personality of Godhead, he is stealing. With Krishna, Supreme Personality of Godhead, what was he doing? The Leelas that he is doing in Braj, that he is stealing butter from Brajwasis, he is stealing curd, he is stealing buttermilk, and buttermilk to, to, to have that, Krishna is dancing. From his mouth, saliva is coming. Like you see little children, when you give them something that they like, so, so there's, when a child is six months, seven months old, there is a ritual. It's written in the Panjika. So in Vedic in culture, Indian culture, the Muni Rishi is what they have written. This is written in Panjika, it's written. they write something but no in scriptures it is based on science astrology is not very strong if you don't want to accept the uh, scriptures you think you're like oh this is brahmans they have no work just to earn money they have written this book in everything Everything that's in scriptures, it is. It includes high level of science. For this regard, it is said. What is God doing? All His devotees. He is giving Ananda to all His devotees, happiness, joy to all His devotees. And He is doing everything to give them Ananda. And at the same time, a non-devotee, who is non-devotee, who is atheist, you think that Krishna is a, like a normal cowherd boy. But Krishna is not an ordinary person. Krishna is Supreme Personality of Godhead. And there are two things. He's, uh, he's nourishing the devotees and giving them happiness, joy. And the second place, he is, he's uh, rejecting the non-devotees. Abandoning and rejecting the non-devotees. These are the two works of God. A person is a devotee, they take darshan of this leela, they listen, they smaran kirtan, and then, then they got absorbed in the deep ocean of joy. It's like a deep ocean of happiness and joy, then you sink in that ocean. God has many beautiful leelas. I'm saying this because nursing Dev appeared from this pillow. You get surprised when you listen to this. Nursing Dev, he killed Nursing Nagashipu. Then when he killed Nagashipu, go where after after he was killed, he disappeared. After some time, he also appeared. And and then he disappeared again. <coughs> this Leela is very uh, full of happiness. But the Krishna's Leela that he is taking birth from mother's womb, he's doing Leela like a, playing like a little boy. 
human boy with his friends he's playing games krishna he lost uh, in a game so he got defeated in the game so <coughs> so you become a horse you crawl on the ground and we will sit on you like we sit on a horse krishna krishna said you all are so fat how can i carry you all so krishna started to run away and behind him his friends started to run friend said krishna you are a very bad person we will never play with you again we will boycott you we will abandon you with you we will never play again then krishna in his mind he is thinking if krishna the friends will not play with me then who will i play with so bal shri ram madhu mangal they said krishna they the boy caught it krishna then krishna got sad and he was thinking what to do then he went to his friends he folded his hands and like okay i will become a horse i will crawl on the ground and you all sit on my back so two three the friends of krishna they sat on krishna's back and krishna could not walk could not crawl who is supreme personality of god had who <laughs> the billions of universe has created from his stomach he has so much power in his stomach mother ishoda said gopal have you eaten mud krishna said no i have not eaten mud and now open your mouth and what did gopal said he opened his mouth and mother ishoda see but he did not see one universe she saw many billions of universe in the mouth of krishna so who is holding billions of universe in his body not one universe billions of universe so not one many many he is possessing many and many uh, universes in the form of sheshnag he is putting billions of universes on his head you know fun like the head of snake he is uh, holding the many many universes on his head this god he could not even lift like three little children on his back he started to try and crawl but he fell down with everyone he is doing leela like this so these are so beautiful leelas brahma and devtas they get surprised they got surprised you know surprised they like is he god in shrimad bhagavatam it's known as the leela of akasur so when there is a leela of killing of akasur
clear a consus uh, he sent a demon agasur who was a big big like a big snake so in raj there was a big huge snake like a, a cobra like a big form of him he went to kill krishna the agasur he saw he took form of a huge mountain agasur there's a, a like a cobra like right so like a cobra he was a huge cobra and he took a form of it form of a mountain and he opened he opened his mouth so big is uh, the bottom mouth was touching the ground and upper lip was touching the top of the mountain and he made a cave in the mountain so he was a red color tongue also how many tongue you have the snake has two tongues snake has two tongues and we have one tongue snake has two tongues this agasur his huge tongue he he lied down uh, his tongue like a carpet he lied down his tongue like a carpet like when the marriage is there we put a huge carpet right to welcome people so this we for sadhus we put clothes in marriage what do you put carpets beautiful soft carpets agasur with his huge tongue his tongue was very long and his tongue was very smooth soft and it was like a very nice carpet Krishna is supreme personality of God that He knows everything. So the friends were playing. He, they said, oh, "Krishna, look. Here is a very weird mountain. Where has this mountain come from?" we always play here we never saw this mountain where did this mountain come from suddenly then other friend said look to someone is making fun with us and he has put a big mountain here to make joke with us then that mountain we all should go in the cave of that mountain mouth one friend there was a beautiful carpet on the caves he said this caves of the cave of this mountain there must be there must be a wedding or marriage going on inside the cave the carpet is so nice there were so many days passed by we have not eaten a feast in a party so let's go and take a feast in a party what did the friends do the tongue of the agasur the snake it was so soft like a carpet the the friends started to dance and walk on it <laughs> then they entered inside so there was i told you there was a mouth of agasur the, the lower lip was touching the ground and upper lip was touching the top of the peak of the mountain there are teeth of the snake also the one friend said he said oh there was what something weird is here then another friend said oh this is nothing there must be a event inside let's go and enjoy the party there must be a feast going on inside there must be many sadhu mahatma inside there so this is like a hook where the sadhus are putting their blankets 
So, so the sadhus they carry four to five blankets with them, and they and they put it like a hook on some branch of tree or something, and then they take rest. So one friend said, so the teeth of this agasur, the, they saw the teeth of agasur. They think the teeth, teeth, teeth is like a hook. To keep the blankets of the <coughs> sadhus. The sakas tak still added to wo dance and walk. A like very beautiful carpet, right? The tongue is soft, right? What is the most softest thing in the body? This is the tongue. And it's covered with the teeth. If the, if the tongue it comes in between the teeth, then the tongue cuts and you feel the pain. See the creation of God is so beautiful. The creation of God, all our body parts like a human. The creation that He has done, this is very surprising and very amazing art. This tongue is very soft. It's covered with the teeth and sometimes it comes in the middle of the teeth and it cuts and the blood comes out also. And for two days you cannot speak. If, if you then eat chili vegetable then also big problem. Then you, your tongue burns. I'm saying this because the tongue is very soft. All the body parts in the body body, all the parts. The most softest one is uh, this tongue it's soft it's covered with the teeth so i'm saying this because so the friends were dancing and walking krishna said friends don't go wait wait There are no sadhus, there is no feast, there is no party inside. But who listens to God? Nobody. Nobody listens to Krishna. The friend said, Oh Krishna, you always eat a feast from the hand of gopis, but we never get a feast. For this regard, we are going. So, Bandara, like a feast. Here's a feast and you are not letting us go in feast. There are so many days. We have not taken paneer. So many days has passed by. We have not taken rasula. And what's there in the many, many sweets? Pakoras. We have not taken it for a long time. Krishna said, <laughs> don't go, don't go. But who listens to Krishna? So friends, they made fun of Krishna and they said, Govinda. Gopis feed you very nice food, so you get always nice feast. But what, when we do, uh, but how we get feast? So today this feast here, so we will definitely go here. Krishna said again and again, friends, don't go, don't go, don't go. There is a problem there. But who listens to Krishna? There is a proverb. Proverb. So, Sakha friends, they entered the cave. The Nagasur was thinking. The friends of Krishna are inside my mouth, but Krishna has not entered. My top, my goal is to kill Krishna, to put Krishna in my mouth. Then Krishna thought that my friends, they have went in deep inside the mouth of Agasur. So if Agasur closes his mouth, then my friends will die. For this regard, Govinda Krishna, 
to save his friends. He he entered himself in the mouth of Agasura also, only to protect his friends. Agasura saw that Krishna is also inside. Then he moved his up uh, lower lip and he closed his mouth. The upper lip was up, up, up only, and it's like the mouth is like this. So slowly, slowly, he brought his lower lip up and he closed it. Then the friend said, one friend said, "Look." The party is going on around. There is a lift elevator like elevator here. It is going to take us up to the event. To go, there is an elevator lift. There must be a very beautiful event going on upstairs. The friends could not see Krishna. They were looking, oh, where is the feast, where is the feast. They were looking for it. They were like, wow, this is a very nice elevator. One friend said, look, there must be a very nice feast here. There must be a very nice arrangement here. There, see, there's an arrangement of elevator here. And then he started to walk. So the, so the mouth of Agasur was very huge. Not one many friends of Krishna, like thousand friends, they entered. So Agasur slowly and slowly, his lower lip, he started to move it up, and the friends were getting happy, like, wow, very nice elevator. <coughs> when they entered the mouth of Agasur, the bad smell started to come also. One friend said, oh brother, in this cave, where is the bad smell coming from? One friend said, Oh brother, listen. For many days the uh, event is going on here. They, they could not take the disposable plates outside. For this regard, the smell of garbage is coming. It's a huge event going on. So there must be a dustbin nearby. Krishna... He entered slowly. The friends were running fastly. Then Agasur, when Krishna entered, Agasur started to move his lower lip. He started to move his lower lip and started to make it meet with his upper lip and close this, close his mouth. So when he closed, the friends they fainted. All the friends, they fainted at the place they were standing. <coughs> to save his friends, Krishna is God Himself. He made His body very hot. Like if you, if you put uh, uh, metal in fire, then the metal becomes red. Like this, Krishna, His body, became extremely hot with the highest temperature of burning with of metal and then Agasur's throat mouth Agasur's mouth it teared out it burned and he died he teared the head of Agasur when he came out, he expanded his body. Expanded his body. So this is surprising. Where was Krishna? Where were the friends of Krishna? They were in in the mouth of Agasur. And the Agasur life 